nothing on this TV other than a bunch of dancing girls. They got that Juji Shaker and J-Lo, whoever, and I just don't understand. And nothing but commercials. I think her TV's broken. I'll fix it. My 2023 is gonna be wonderful. I hope I don't make it. What's up? This is Ty and you're watching Appalachian Firearms. Today we got the Citadel Warthog. This is a 12 gauge semi-automatic. Um, has shoots five rounds, four in the mag tube, one in the chamber of course, three inch chamber as well. Um, you can see the name, Citadel. Let's flip it around. You can see the little warthog on it. Um, this gunner here was made in Turkey, but I believe it was uh, assembled in Legacy, Sport, uh, Legacy Sports Reno, Nevada. I believe that's how, how it is. Um, when you buy these things new, it comes with three different um, chokes. chokes. Thank you. I don't know why I got lost. But uh, three different um, chokes. You got a full choke. You got one that's uh, modified. Um, you got your bolt lock here. Of course, bolt lock safety. Um, I'll put that back on safety. And here is the bolt release. Bolt release for the receiver here. And actually, you have to pull the. Whenever you bring it back, it won't lock. You have to pull the trigger. Take it on safety. Pull the trigger to get it to lock back. Um, we're going to load up a couple of rounds in this. This is the full choke. Oh, and sorry, it's also got a blade side on the end. Um, I know I've seen some reviews where people actually paint those um, because of the matte black finish. Uh, matte black finish for your receiver here. Um, but I have. I've seen people paint these. And it does have a rail here for a scope. Um, really, for home defense, and that's basically... What, uh, what I'm wanting to show this for is this thing right here would make for a awesome little home defense gun. Um, you got a padded buttstock here. You can actually see, well, you can see it collapsing in the center. A little stiff in the edges here, but nothing after a couple of rounds won't handle. Now we are using, uh, do you mind handing me the, hand me those shells? All right, this is the Winchester 7.5 shot. Uh, we shot a couple of rounds before the video. We're having troubles because this is a uh, low shoulder, or uh, excuse me, low brass. Um, me personally, I think if you use a, a high brass, you probably won't have no issues with it. We, the, It's actually wanting to jam inside of here, so I don't think it's the gun. I think it's the ammunition. But that's the price you pay when you go to Walmart and buy 20 rounds or 25 rounds for like less than 10 bucks. So um, I'm not saying Winchester puts out a bad, bad round. I'm just saying it's not probably not designed too well for this gun. So anyways, we're going to get loaded up and we got a couple of things to shoot here. Uh, a couple of things I want to try to destroy with it. And uh, let's have fun. All right, now, um, i seen, uh, I was watching a lot of these uh, people that do competitions. Um, they actually load two rounds at a time. And I've tried it. It actually works pretty good, just as long as you get it lined up. And the bad thing I find about this is my hands, you know, I got fairly big thumbs, fairly big hands. My fingers get caught. I'm only loading four in it for, uh, for right now.
let me uh, set this down. Put my ears on. Uh, this is an old projector screen, and it's got that uh, that glass in there. And I actually shot it out just a minute ago without it even breaking. So that's actually one of the first things I'm going to shoot. Um, like I said, this thing doesn't have a screen on it. Doesn't have nothing. The TV is garbage. So uh, we're going to treat it like garbage. That's the problem right there. It's these low brass shells. It's not, it's not the gun. Uh, so if anybody's get or anybody uses these guns, I'd suggest using the high brass. It keeps it from, keeps it from jamming. These are actually getting shoved up into the tube itself. So give us just a minute. We'll get back with you. All right. Sorry about that, guys. Um, we're gonna do this again. We got. Um, I literally shot that thing just a second ago and it never even hurt it. So I'm actually, uh, I'm going to step forward just a little bit. Oh, there was only two rounds in it, but still, look, that's it. It gets jammed up. And you can actually see, it's going to hold back now. That's just one of those things. It's nothing major. It's nothing on the gun. You can actually see the ring around it where it's getting shoved way up in there. It's actually pushing them back compared to one that hasn't been shot. You can see where it's, where it's reamed it out, literally. I mean, it's, it's pushing it back so far, so... That's nothing, just cheap rounds. Um, but we're gonna take them, we're gonna shoot a couple of more things. So we're gonna load this TV up. Um, I don't even know what with, but uh, we're gonna get that one. We got another uh, We got another shotgun that we're gonna unload on it too at the same time. And uh, let's just make this thing not exist anymore. All right guys, I do apologize for the wind. Um, we're actually looking for some storms later today so the wind is This one has the full choke on the end of it, and um, <clears throat> we brought the Citadel with us, and we brought, of course, our famous uh, G-Force Arms um, shotgun here, pump. And we're going to take it. We're going to have two different shots. One is going to be with this gun with the full choke on it to kind of show you that spread. So. And it only had one round in it, by the way. This one only has one round. I'm going to put this one beside of it. All right, let's go walk over here and check this out. Now, I'll take these off. Look at the pattern. Here is, which actually I shot below, here is the full choke pattern. Okay, it's more of a tighter pattern. So for distances, that would work perfect because it's going to be a tighter shot. And for this one right here, which I shot over here, um, but I was kind of aiming, you know, a little too close to the edge. But here, here's a perfect example. This is the other one before. This is one that has absolutely no choke. And you can see the pattern is much different. Much, much different. There's, I mean, it's just, you know, <laughs> you should see the difference. All right, we got four rounds in this one that's all I loaded in it. I didn't put one in the chamber yet. We have four rounds in the other, or five rounds in the other one. We have a TV. Let's get to blasting. Ready when you are. <laughs> hey, look. <laughs> We're having fun with this. That's, uh... 
That's what we get for using cheap rounds. You can't, uh... That shows you how good the pump action is, though. No, mine jammed. You're jammed, too? Twice. My goodness, we're just having fun with this. Let's just call this Jam City. I can't even get it out now. Alright, guys. Well, we've had about all the fun we can take with these... Uh, with these little target rounds. My suggestion, it's not the gun, because I've seen these things, they perform very, very, very extremely well. I would not use the low brass on these. But, um, once again, honestly, I love the gun. Great, great, great home defense gun, because it is semi-automatic. They are easy to load. Um, they're not too bad, like I said, I mean, uh, you know, they load from underneath, so I mean, it's very, very, very easy. And it does load easy if the gun performs well. But uh, once again, I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of that shell because I don't feel like digging another one out of this. So, <clears throat> honest to goodness, I don't believe this was the gun issue. I honestly believe this was just a round issue. Um, Leave a comment in the section below because I'm pretty sure that um, maybe other people's had issues with this before. If you've got a Citadel uh, Warhog, uh, Warhog, excuse me, sound like a true redneck there. Um, let me know. And just uh, another thing too, I do have a Patreon site. I want to, um, uh, if anybody would like to help support the channel. Also, um, I do have an Instagram and a Twitter account. Um, I got a copy of the. Uh, Twitter account to, um, to put the link so I have all three of them in the link um, in the description below and we'll just uh, we're gonna goof off here for a few more minutes we'll clean up get ready to go see you guys in the next video and God bless